everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and i still remain your most well issue making made easy to talk oh durole mojibola today i am going to be analyzing these women's slippers now i need you to know that one of the most important thing when it comes to pattern cutting in shoe making is your ability to analyze your footwear and that is one of those things i ensure that i teach in my class so today i'm going to be taking you through the process of analyzing a design for you to be able to actually create it yourself understand the measurements and every necessary things now sit back and i'll be right so like i said i am going to be analyzing these particular slippers for us to see now you can see that one way or the other it's actually divided into about one two three four five now it's actually divided into about four different parts. Now, the first one is what we have here. The next one is this one that looks like deep blue. We have the chocolate brown and we also have the deep blue and then we have this at the front. So we have them in one, two, three, four, five. So we have them in different, in these five sections now when you want to create this kind of a design one of the most important thing you should first of all ask yourself is what do i want to be the final length i mean from this side to this particular side what do i want to use what do i want my final length to be so whatever that is is what is going to majorly determine how you want to go about it for example let's say you're working for somebody who wears size 38 you can make up your mind that, okay, the whole length, I mean, this whole length that I have here is going to be 10 centimeters. That is the first thing you should tell yourself because you'll find out that this particular one here, this small one on this side is actually supposed to be at your instep, a little bit before the instep, actually, it may be on the instep, it may be a bit before the instep. I hope you know what instep means anyway. Then... By the time you actually make up your mind, okay, I'm going to be making use of 10 centimeters. I think that is good enough. That's so good enough. Now, you begin to separate each and every one of them. Now, when I mean separate, what do I mean by separate them? What we are going to be doing is we are going to start with the smallest to the, you know, the smallest. I mean, these small parts which is that first one, the first question is, okay, if I'm going to be using 10 centimeters as the whole width, what is this part going to be? What is this tiny one going to be? What is this middle one going to be? And then what is, of course, since you know what this one is going to be, and then what this second one is going to be, then you are good to go. So analyzing this, I am going to be giving you these options when it comes to the width that you should work with. I believe we understand what I mean by the width. So let's say from the brown from the chocolate brown that we have inside you can decide to actually use a width of about four centimeter or 4.5 centimeter yes for this particular one you just go ahead and use four centimeter now you can actually work like that just use four centimeter for that part then you move to this particular part what am I going to be using there? I'm going to, let's say you can, you can actually decide to use about 1.5 or 1.2 for that size. So let's say I'm using 1.2 centimeter, for example, it means automatically this particular side, I am also going to consider it. Then this one, this one that we have here, don't forget that this one has to be 1.2 as well, since we have this side to be 1.2. So the two of them, they are going to be 1.2. So 1.2 plus 1.2 is going to give us 2.4. Then 2.4 plus this 4 centimeter is already 6.4, if I'm correct, 6.4. So it means out of my 10 centimeter I intend to use, I still have about um, 3.6, I guess, 3.6 centimeter. So my 3.6 centimeter, I am going to be sharing it between... I'm going to be sharing it between the two extras that I have. 
the two extras i mean this small one and this one that is on this side so sharing that you're going to be having about 1.8 as the width of each of them since you have about 3.6 if i'm correct you can decide to use 1.8 or 1.6 for the width of these ones i believe that when it comes to analyzing um your 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 slippers or your sander you, it will give you you know a, a, a it will help you to be able to know okay what to measure and what not to measure so basically i want you to understand that your ability to analyze makes pattern cutting very easy for you i know somebody is already wondering okay how did you come out how, how, how were you able to wrap your head around okay what measurement to use and all of that i want you to know that these things are not things that happens in a day you understand i do it so many times i've done this a lot of times i mean creating patterns so one way or the other when i look at a pattern i can you know use my measuring tape and okay this is this this is this so just try to do all those things once in a while and see how it looks like like i said the length the full length is your major target that should be the first thing you are going to be working with now after I've, after all that i've said let us proceed to how do i create my upper because now you have to understand that this particular one that we have here and the one that we have here i told us we are going to be using a width of about 1.8 centimeter or 1.6 centimeter so since that's it i'm going to be suggesting you use a width of about i, I mean a length the length the length should be I mean the length from this side to this side. You can use for somebody wearing 38, for example. I'm just using 38 as an example. You can decide to increase or reduce with respect to whatever size you want to work with. So if you're working with 38, you can decide to use about 6 cm six centimeter for this particular length. I mean this one here, this particular one. Now this can be longer. This one here can be longer than this particular one. Yes, it can be longer. It ought to be longer because you can decide to use about 5.5 here and use 6.5 for this particular side. They are not meant to actually be the same width. But if you choose to make it the same width, I hope it will not be, you know, discomforting the toe part. So I think it should, it should not be as wide as in this particular one this one should be wider than this one at the front now when it comes to the length of this side i believe it has to do with whatever size you are working with so your size will determine what you want to use as the length of this particular side now if you want to create your upper i'm going to suggest that you had about a one one centimeter to all of the width that i mentioned earlier i told us that this you can make it four centimeter you can decide to make it 4.5 it's your choice now if you're going to make it four centimeters make sure you measure five centimeter as the width now because you're going to be folding if you look at the design very well you'll find find out that all of the edges were folded so your ability to fold the edges of course, will totally rest on your ability to actually see, okay, this is what this looks like. So let me quickly look at that. Let's look at that. Now, you can see what I'm look, talking about here. If you look at this, you find out that all of these edges were folded. All these edges here, all this side were folded. So by the time you measure 5, you just fold about 0 0.5 on one side on this particular side then you go to this particular side as well and fold the 0 0.5 so at the end of the day you're going to be having four centimeter um, at that point then you come to this one as well add one centimeter and also fold the edges that's basically how you can analyze designs like this i don't know if you can see this now after you have done all of your folding including this one at the at the front all you need is to curve the edges i've taught us several how to curve the edges of this so i believe that by now you should be able to do that basically i just want to also look at this pattern together using it to teach us how to analyze different designs which is the most important thing when it comes to pattern cutting so you have to definitely fold even this at the at the front it has to be folded as well you can see it's curved just fold them gently and then arrange all of them together you can see that the 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 the, the one at the middle was the first so based on the lining then you place all these ones that look like black or blue black all these ones that are here place them to us as well very close to it then of course this one at the front has to be you have to learn to actually 
you know line that one separately it's under this particular on under the one that is blue the one that has a blue color yes you see this you have to finish this front make sure you wrap it for the edges i mean line it stitch it then you insert it under this particular one so by the time you insert it you find out that it will be easy for you to stitch on top of it then stitch the other parts of your design as well so today majorly this is what i intend to show us if you have learned anything new when it comes to analyzing pattern please let me know in the comment section if you have a design you will love me to also analyze just for you to be able to create a pattern by yourself please let me know and if you created this please make sure you send me a picture of what you were able to create on my watch on my instagram or facebook page at gbfm 14 now if you're watching my channel for the first time i hardly do this but i just felt i should begin to expose us to how i understand you know patterns how i create my patterns and this is one of the basic thing i thought in my intermediate class your ability to be able to look and interpret your designs helps you to be able to create perfectly well so if you would love to join my intermediate class please let me know in the comment section as well and i will guide you on how because majorly we treated pattern cutting we treated lasting bottoming and how to position in the intermediate class so if you're watching my channel for the first time make sure you subscribe before you leave if you enjoy this particular analysis of this design make sure you subscribe to my channel press the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified thank you so much for joining me once again and i still remain your most worthy shoe making made easy to Oh, I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.